I need to ask you a question, Rex. No, sorry, we are not settling. Settling? Are you kidding? What I was going to say is that I think I'd like to start seeing Lindsay. And uh, I was wondering if I could ask your permission. Well, well that's very big of you, Bruce. It's been six months and I still thought I should ask. Hmm? Um, has it already started? Not really. What about the little things? Well, sure. Flirting? Yeah. Kissing? I mean, it's okay. These are all the, all the little things. Here's a question. Can a man ask permission for something he's already done? No. No. So, so you're not really asking permission for the little things. You're asking permission for the big things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very clever, Rex. Are, are you in love with my fiance? Ex. Ex. Fiance. fiance. And yeah. Yeah. Well, here's another question. Based on your own personal experience, what do you think is overall a stronger force for most human beings? Love or permission? Well, like, let's just think of all the of all the stories and plays and poems and songs ever written. How many were written about love and how many were written about permission? Uh, I don't know, Rex. You tell me. Here, I'll I'll try and give you a question that you you can answer. Suppose I say you don't have my permission. If you really love my fiance, is that going to make a difference? Probably not. So you're not really asking permission for anything, are you, Bruce? Not for little things, because we know you didn't wait for me on those, and not for the big things, which are more powerful than any force on Earth. So what I'm wondering is, if you're not asking for permission, what are you doing? Look, I'm sorry I even tried, okay? I'll, uh, I'll see it the Destroying next a friendship? Maybe. Kicking a man when he's down, rubbing it in? Uh, these, these all seem like pretty good possibilities to me. Bruce, don't, don't leave. I have the floor! There is no floor. The answer is no, by the way. No, you do not have my permission. Ah, uh, screw you, Rex. Sc screw you! Okay. I think I handled that pretty well. Rex one, and Bruce zero. <laughs> My name is Mabel Howard, and I'm here because I was wrongfully terminated from my position as a bus driver for the Hanover Academy. I held this job faithfully for 25 years, but now this firing has left me... I plan to hold him accountable for vandalizing my bus. With no husband in the picture, I had to send my children to Atlanta where... Uh, I'm a little turned around here. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I got my main point. That is why you must give me back my job. And because retaliation is the ugliest form of wrongful termination. I believe punitive damages are also in order to the tune of... 1.5 million dollars. Oh Unbelievable.